Unicorn India Ventures is an early stage technology focused venture fund. The company has invested in seed and early stages of technology focused businesses across industry verticals and are committed to supporting these ventures throughout their early life cycle with initial and follow on investments in the range of 50 lakh rupees to 10 crore rupees. The company is all set to return the entire capital to fund one investors with more than a year left in the fund cycle while its fund two of 300 crore rupees has already invested in 14 companies and has already seen one exit. Joining us now to discuss this further is Bhaskar Majumdar, the managing partner at Unicorn India Ventures. Bhaskar, thank you so much for joining us on the show. Unicorn India Ventures is all set to return the entire capital to Fund One investors with more than a year left in the fund cycle. Can you tell us how this is possible? Thank you, Arundhati. It's a pleasure once again to come back to Startup Street. You know, uh, when we started, <clears throat> obviously for us, building a portfolio was the essence of being in the business, but we wanted to be among the first funds who would be able to return money, especially to the Indian LPs, so that strategically the Indian uh, investors, the Indian LPs get a flavor of what this asset class is all about. And so for us, ever since we completed our investment cycle, which is the first four years of the fund, we have been aggressively looking at, uh, you know, working with international funds uh, to see how we can get exits uh, for our investors. And uh, for example, now uh, the fund that we exited out to uh, was uh, a Delaware-based fund who made their first investment in India. And with them, we've been in touch well over a year uh, educating them about the Indian market and the various opportunities. Right. Like you mentioned, you've offloaded 20% of your stake in Open Bank to a Delaware fund, which got you $10 million. What's the exit strategy and what are the kind of returns you're looking at? And what are the other exits on your radar currently? Uh, you know, we have to uh, manage the expectations of the investors uh, right. because we have seen what's been happening in the capital markets uh, recently. Uh, we've obviously not yet seen the impact of that come into the private markets. Having said that, we are very positive that taking away all costs uh, out of the system, including the carry, we would be able to give at least a 4x return to our investors, which I think in today's market is, uh, is, is a great return. Uh, when it comes to a strategy, I think you're very right. Uh, you know, we have uh, in detail gone into our portfolio of our first fund. Uh, you know, we've got a couple of outliers uh, that are there uh, in this in, in the fund. We've got Open Bank, and of course, we've got uh, you know another company called SmartCoin. So for these outliers, we have a different strategy for exit. While for the next six or seven companies, which are the future winners of our portfolio, we've got a separate plan of exit. So it's horses for courses, and we are playing it out to see that we give the maximum returns to our investors. So looking to give maximum returns to your investors. Now let's look at your second fund of 300 crore rupees, and you've already invested in 14 companies. Can you tell me the kind of companies you've invested in? You've also said that you've already seen one exit. Can you tell me who exited and at what kind of returns? And by when do you expect to close this fund? So the fund closing is uh, going to be in March 31st of this year, okay. uh, 2021. So we are almost there. We have more or less hit a target that we wanted in the in the second fund. Uh, we've invested, like you very rightly said, uh, 14 companies uh, looking to invest possibly another two or three, and that would sort of complete our portfolio per se. Uh, you know, being an early stage, our positioning is we position ourselves as the first institutional investor, Arundhati. And therefore, being an early stage investor, we always have to be out there picking up the trends. For example, when we invested in Open Bank, nobody, uh, very few people in India had heard about neo banking, which today, of course, is a buzzword. But uh, we had studied this neo banking, especially in the UK, and when Open Bank came, we invested. So, also in the present fund, we are looking at uh, future trends, for example, in digital platforms, we are looking at newer industry sectors to break through. You know, we've invested in a company called Probus, which is bringing uh, efficiency using digital aggregation for the power sector. We think this is one of the sectors where there is a scope of a lot of digital disintimidation. And we were one of the first guys who invest, uh, first VCs who invested within this sector. From a broad thesis perspective, apart from digital platforms, which is the essence of what we invest in, we have actively started to invest in creator economy, 
you know, creator economy is something which we strongly believe uh, is not even, uh, you know, skim the surface. And given all that we are seeing in Web 3.0, we think the creator economy is bound to boom. So we've made a couple of investments from our fund to in creator economy, a company called Windows, which is an international product company scaling up very fast. And another company called Social Swag, which again is a uniquely positioned company scaling up fast. So that's that's a new thesis which you brought to the table.